Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Breath of Fire 1, where we stopped in the dungeon in the middle of the desert, because yesterday we spent so long walking through a hallway, and then walking back through the hallway, except this time with a gold bar in our pocket. Uh, for now, though, let's take a look around this dungeon. It's... Uh, of course, it's locked. It's got a big old lock right there in the center. And that staircase in the center of the room looks fairly important. And look, we've got the Skull Scorpions to join us. Who look pretty awesome, I've got to say. Maybe less threatening because they're just kind of like sitting there wiggling their big old claws and their big old skull face the entire time. But overall, still, pretty good. Oh, I could I could just walk around, why? I could just walk around your locked door, this... An E-chest. Not a mimic! An enemy chest. All right. Yeah, I could just... Okay, this is... This I was expecting this staircase to be like the finale piece of this dungeon, but it's just right around the corner. Okay, it is just a big room of pedestals and chests. I'm noticing a theme here. L like, is this supposed to be kind of like a treasure palace type thing? Like, people just kind of... stored treasure in the desert. Are these treasure chests going to be trapped? I'm gonna give the odds 7 to 1. That the chest has a trap on it. A trap triggered a fire. Nick receives 50 points of damage. And I got an herb. Maybe I should have uh, raised those odds. This is a big room. Not particularly maze-like, just big. Also, I feel as though I've played way too much uh, Bug Snacks recently, and all I can think of is the Scorpeno. A trap triggered a toxin. Nick is poisoned. All right, well, that's useful, though. What is the difference between Life and Life 2, actually? Now that I think about it, this will put you back into fighting shape. Everything will return to normal. Also, I learned recently that DK Kiss um, is an item that deals uh, damage equal to how much health your character has. Because of that, it makes that item relatively overpowered. So it's only useful, uh, so it's only usable against uh, regular monsters. Like, I can use... on this Scorp... That was the, the the biggest waste of a. Uh, never mind. I've learned nothing. the The internet has failed me once again. That that's okay. Because it seems no matter what, every single time I've used that item, it has missed. If you know when you're supposed to use that item, I've probably already finished this game. But still, I'd like to know. <laughs> So, so, comment, uh, what, what, what's, what is the deal with that item? Have you ever tried to use a DK Kiss in, uh, Breath of Fire 1? What's the deal with that? Yeah, always convenient. 
So it seems like Nick is just almost capable of taking down one of those mages in one hit. The Scorps, not so much. They are tougher. They are slightly newer. And it's, it's kind of strange, the, as I play the game, like, the amount of experience you get from any particular enemy always seems a little bit all over the place. Another trap! A dark mist! I lost AP. How much AP did I lose, actually? That's a sizable amount of AP, but I can still turn into a dragon three or so times. So I'm not entirely worried. Especially since there's probably only going to be one boss. Probably. Although now that I think about it, I could always just shift Bo to the head of the party so that he gets the brunt of... Where am I now? Is this just a big, empty room? I feel like this is just a big, empty room with nothing in it. except for a staircase back up. You know, it almost makes this dungeon seem emptier in comparison. Was this where I came from? Oh my gosh, a trap! And poisoned again! Who would have expected this? Alright. So... I think that was the way down. I like how the scorpions are all, like, teleporting down from the ceiling and then the mage just kind of floats in off screen. Like he doesn't get the fancy teleport, he just has to hoof it wherever he goes. But then I suppose they would have had to uh, like animate the... the scorpion. Yeah, multiple of you guys. Do you even have any abilities? You haven't really done anything. Except mashes your face, oh my gosh. Except mash your faces into our faces. Not that I really need them to do, do anything except have tons of experience points so that I can level up. And I did see a staircase towards the bottom too. Can I access it? I cannot. Huh. The only way out would then be the staircase at the top left corner of the room. So it's not really, it's like a maze out of um, inconvenience. Like finding the right path around the right traps in order to better escape. Oh, I did not access that chest over there, which is likely also poisoned.
or have some sort of radiating dark mist or some other sort of thing. Nope, wrong button. A trap trigger to fire. Nick receives damage. Dream our Jeep is that. Dream RG. Okay, it does not seem to affect stats. Who can equip an... Hmm. Okay. It does not say what it actually... Like, what abilities it gives. I must have been really, really lucky that my first trip around that room. Because somehow, like, I walked around almost the entire room without falling down a single hole. Alas, I do not have my phone with me so I can look up what a Dream RG actually does. Which might be for the best, that way I'm not spending my time browsing Breath of Fire 1 wikis. And I suppose this gives me a chance to kill more of these fellows. Get a, f a few more experience points out of them. Because at the very least, they're also not very dangerous. They're a combination of not particularly dangerous, and they do drop a lot of money and experience, because now I'm already back to like 21,000. The only trick is going to be, for me especially, Remembering where all of these holes are, maybe re-navigating whatever my original path was. It's too bad we don't have a character who can fly in this party, who can turn into a bird. Is this the bad path? No, it's still good. And another character who can turn into a flying creature. It's it's too bad we don't have that. Sorry, Bo. I suppose you're screwed on this uh, in this one. But at least you could maybe hop on the flying bird creature like we have done in the past. Was the staircase over here? I think the answer was yes. Okay, and this should take me to that lower floor. Ah. Oh, hello? Is this another more pow powerful rang? We will have to take it for ourselves. But we might as well also heal up before then. Smash the rock! Then you'll be able to take the B rang. But I don't have a character who can smash rocks. Damn it. 
a trap trigger to boom. Nick collapses from severe damage. All right. And yeah, look, have that apple. And th you'll never be able to use this. That is an interesting way to phrase that. Like, you, it's not like you can't use it during this particular, like, from this menu. You'll never be able to use this. Which is harsh. Like, why is this game giving me items that I'll never be able to use. Uh-huh. Can I talk to you, eyeball fellow? Go away! You're not wanted here! Alright, I presume they're all gonna say that. Alright, let's heal everybody up because this is probably a fight. I was gonna say, like, I healed everybody up, took one step and ended up in a random battle, but at the very least, it's only against one scorpion. Stop right there. Another intruder slipped past me, but you're not so lucky. Is it the thief? You know, this reminds me of that boss from uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. I think it's one of the Dark World bosses. I forget exactly which one, what it's, what it's called. I spy. All right. Power up. And then let's use some attack damage. And... Power up. Yeah, now that now that Nick can turn into a dragon, it seems like everything else is like any other strategy of like holding on and team effort and using one character for more magic. Like it's it's more or less just turn into a dragon and slowly work uh, the enemy down. Uh, do I need to heal anybody? Not really. I'm disappointed that there's no I Spy related abilities um, to the character. Like, let's say the enemy was like, I spy with my little eye something green. And you knew that he was going to attack Bo in the next round. Maybe they were saving that for the sequel. Or maybe... They just found the term more endearing for the boss's name. Alright, Nina can heal herself. Still, it's kind of neat that it's falling apart as you fight it. None of the uh, I, yeah, none of the other bosses in this game do that. Oh my! And now it gains uh, lightning powers, making it slightly more dangerous. But only slightly. I'm still not worried. But let's heal bow.
Yeah, we could start having Nina focus more on rotating heals between uh, the individuals. Based on who's low. Also, who gave you group attacks? I spy got up. Oh, very convenient of you. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I didn't think uh, he would be able to last for too long. Nina reaches level 21. Good job, Nina. Shield has been learned. All right. Ak, you're only human. You're not supposed to possess such power. Well, sir. I do possess such power. Why, hello. The Icy Hot. Fantastic. Oh, it's just a hat. That makes more sense. Ah, just as good as the Icy Hot, but with more action. Can you wear the Icy Hot? Yes, you can. You take Cure. Skull Hut. Who can wear the Skull Hut? Can you? All right. Significantly better defense. Slightly lowers action and magic, but I'm sure we can live with that. Another Skull Hat. Who wants a Skull Hat? You get a Skull Hat, and you get a Skull Hat. Yep, the headgear is slightly better. Oh no, a trap! Who would have thought? What am I going to do? I can't swim! Search the area, there may be a way out. This trap is too simple. It would only catch a fool. Well, um... Karn, I almost drowned looking for you. What's going on? Someone is trapped in the safe in Oria. Can you open it? I can open anything if you bring me the book from the tomb. Okay, but why don't you come with us? You guys go ahead. I'll wait here. You'll wait here? Come on, don't wimp out. Okay, okay, come on. I'll take care of any locked doors we find. Karn joins the party. Fantastic. Well, let's reorganize. Holy hell. How why are you, why is your level so low, Karn? Why are you only level 12? Okay, can you equip anything at least? Like a sun hat? And maybe a tiara? Or, uh, Icy Hot. Dagger, maybe? Alright, that, that, that seems good.
All right, hopefully he does not die a horrible death. Inevitably. Does he have, what, is, what abilities does he have? Nothing. He can do nothing. I mean, I suppose he can open these locked doors. Oh no, these war hogs that were not exactly a problem hours ago. I'm okay with that because Karn is really low leveled. Like, I feel like I should be going back to that area with the gold slime just so I could um, grind on those monsters to earn Karn a little bit more experience than the nothing he has. Or maybe this will help. Wow. Now I, I feel like I'm more concerned like when he actually gets hit. Like how much health is it really going to knock off? All right, that's the, at the very least, maybe he has a higher chance of dodging. And he is in the back row, I think. So that might also help keep him alive. Where does this go? But yeah, it's, at the very least, the rest of the party is strong enough on their own. And it doesn't necessarily seem as though um, the monsters have rammed themselves up in difficulty just because I have four people now. Ah, these fellows. Very convenient. I was just talking about you guys. And Bo leveled up. You're not the one that was supposed to level up. But that's still good. Where on earth does this even go? Does this go anywhere? Does this circle around? Is this a path towards nothing for no one? My doubts are high. of these fellows. Should I be more strategic or just auto battle? Let's try auto battling these fellows. All right, brought him down to two, brought him down to one. Good job, Bo. Although I will definitely want to heal Nina when this is done. Karn, level 13. Fantastic. You'll, you've got more to go. you got uh, so many more levels to catch up. You are way behind. Unnecessarily behind. But I suppose, yeah, the back row is a good place for someone of his low-level stature to be. 
Though I, I wonder if he does get, um, eventually get any abilities of some kind. Like, say, the ability to pickpocket or steal. Like, the kind of things uh, a lot of thieves tend to get in games like this. Let's see, uh... You can't use this special power. Does this get at least rid of at least one? Okay, thank goodness. Alright, so without critical hits, I can get rid of three golden slimes in one battle. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that entire outer hallway is. Like, I feel like that outer hallway was just a distraction. Never mind. That's not connected. Ah! Always convenient. All right, let's see if we can get at the, any of these chests. The treasure chest had a trap. Karn removed the trap. Very nice. Let's see, if, I guess that means for dungeons, it makes a lot of sense to just have Karn at the head of the party, simply because of his lock picking and his trap... Um, removing capabilities. Oh no, he got hit once. And it wasn't as terrible as I was expecting. The treasure chest had a trap. Karn removed the trap. You take the herb. Alright, can I get at this staircase over here, or is it... Yeah, let's, let's just go down the staircase instead of wandering around this big loop forever and ever. I like the fact that this monster seems to bleed gold. Just gold pieces flying out of its wounds. And I suppose the book must have been the treasure that this dungeon is supposed to carry, but... I'm not entirely sure what the book is about. Let alone why a thief would want it. Alright, let's, let's just go down this center staircase, see where it goes. Karn carefully disarmed the trap. The casket is empty. Also, those this team is a, just a group of expert uh, like casket lid removers. They they were fast in taking off that lid and then putting it back. Karn carefully disarmed the trap. The casket is empty.
Oh, I did not realize Nina's health was so low. I probably should fix that sometime soon. Because all of these monsters seem to just want to beat up on Nina. And Karn leveled up to level 14. Fantastic. Let's use, um... Let's use an herb. I'm gonna have to consider using an acorn. Is this one I've already checked? I think I've already checked this one, but... Yeah, okay. Ah, hello, gold slime, all by your lonesome. Oh my, and even at level 14, um, Karn is faster than Nick. That is speed. Karn carefully disarmed the trap. It's empty. Karn carefully disarmed the trap. It's empty. All right, what is the size of this room? How many caskets am I going to have to search? Oh, hold on, was that just Karn? Karn carefully disarmed the trap. It's empty. All right, at the very least, we know the limits of the room itself. I think there is one, two, three, four more, including this one. Nope, three more. Because I forgot about the space where the staircase is. Yeah, one hit from Karn can almost kill a Warhog now. Karn carefully disarmed the trap. It is still empty. I wonder if there's going to be more rooms like this with more caskets. Karn carefully disarmed the trap. It is also still empty. Nope, something is written in the casket. The casket is the book. Since you figured out the trap, you already have great skills. Karn gains confidence. Is that why we were here? So Karn could gain confidence in himself? Truly, the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. I did it! I'm the greatest! Save it, Karn. We've got to get back to Oria. Okay, I just wanted to have my moment of triumph, where I celebrated how awesome I am. And now I have to go all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon. Well, if absolutely nothing happens between here and the beginning of the dungeon, um, this is going to be it for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.